Here, shock is turning to anger at one of the nation's most significant corporate collapses. The demise of the Hasty Group is likely to cost 2,000 jobs, while investors have lost more than half a billion dollars. And there are signs that only a quarter of the group's 44 companies can be saved. Early this morning, Hasty's employees turned up at a major Sydney construction site, hoping they could return to work. We do the hydraulics plumbing, which is the bathrooms, the gas, the water. But with their employer in administration, it's now an anxious wait to see if another company will take them on. I've got a mortgage, I've got kids. It's, I don't know, I can't walk away. Hundreds of electricians too are clamouring for jobs with new contractors and they're trying to take their entitlements with them. We're keen to make sure that the other contractors in this industry as they pick up those jobs, pick up these workers. Unless it's resolved quickly, there'll be significant disruptions on sites all over the state. Most premiers would be going out of their way to work out how they can protect these jobs. In New South Wales, we've got a premier that simply sits on his hands and allows jobs to walk out of New South Wales. The pain is being felt around Australia. 2,700 jobs are in doubt. More than 900 in Victoria, 820 in New South Wales and hundreds more in other states. Today, the Hasty Group's administrators told the ABC, for the past 28 hours, our focus has been to get employees back to work. It is becoming clear that in some cases that may not be possible. We have had requests that some employees want more immediate access to termination and we are providing that. It's thought that just 10 of the Hasty Group's 44 companies can be sold off as going concerns. The administrators say they should have a clearer picture of the scale of the job losses from this collapse by the end of the week. And now the inevitable question, how could it come to this? How is it thousands of Australian workers are now paying the price of mismanagement? You've got, you know, half a billion dollars of debt these workers didn't accrue. There's been admissions by the company itself of significant mismanagement. Uh, we also do know that there's been uh, fraud committed. Legal action is certain as major investors look to recover at least some of their losses. Philippa MacDonald, ABC News.